Okay, let's welcome you guys to a brief tutorial on training peak software. Um, first of all, you go to nolimitstriathlon.com, my webpage, and then you scroll down to the bottom right hand corner where you have your username and password. You type that in. And your password. Log in and it should get you into your account. Okay, so then when you um, first come in, the view that I have set is uh, the calendar view. So we are in week uh, November 29th. So these are the workouts that I have planned for myself. Um, today is December 3rd. So let's click on December 3rd, double click, and then it opens up the workout. You can see that it's a swim workout. Uh, it's a 1500 time swim. Here's the warm up the main set and the cool down and the planned duration was an hour and a half but I only got in an hour post activity comments this is where I want you to write in your comments you could type in things like wow what a great swim today 22 minutes flat and then you go down to the bottom go save and close and when you do that, that updates your summary over here in the eighth column. The other seven columns contains the days, Monday to Sunday. And P is the planned hours that I have for you. A is the actual hours that you've done. And calories are what you burned. And you can add in calories too if you want, but we're not going to discuss that in this uh, video. Okay, so like I said, uh, this is the calendar view and you can see all the workouts you have. Let's click on tomorrow. You can see by the icon here, I'm doing a little bike workout. Open it up. Let's fast forward. Imagine I've done it. So I've done the, the warm up, the main set. I did the cool down. I listened uh, to the pre activity comments. I did all this stuff. Wow, what a great class. Uh, the actual duration was an hour and a half. So I I put that in. I want you guys to put in your times. That's how far you did the the workout. Post activity comments. Um, another great ride. Heart rate is where it should be. Okay, and then go down to the bottom, save and close, and that updates your summary over here. Okay, so that's the calendar view. Now there's another view you can have too, and that's the spreadsheet view. So if you click on the tab over here, spreadsheet, it will open up the spreadsheet. So the, the view is a little bit different here. On this column, here's the date. Shows you where uh, you are in the week. This is the description of the workout. So for example, this Friday the 3rd is the 1500 swim. Okay, and uh, the description is here. Post activity comments is here. Uh, this is what I planned for you one hour and a half, but I only did an hour. So I typed in an hour. And you can type in here too just by double clicking, see? And you can add to your comments. Add more if you like. And you can update your times too. So if it wasn't an hour, but an hour 10, you can put that in. And the same thing with other workouts here. Now I kind of like to s use this little bar here to scroll down through the week. I get better control of seeing the workouts on to the left. Another nice thing that you can do here is really control the weeks you're looking at. So up here you can set the starting date and over here to the finishing date. And you can select which uh, day to end on. So right now I have it ending on the 3rd, but I can easily just click it to the 5th. That will move it right up to the 5th. I don't have a workout plan for the fifth. So that's a spreadsheet workout uh, view. Now, say if you say, well, I'd like to print these off. How do I do that? So go back to the calendar view and then go over here to print. Right here is print. Click on print. And it opens up a new window. Okay, now what you can see uh, if you go up here to the top, you can see where it says it shows three weeks. And you can change that from 1 to 16. So let's just go 1. I want to see one week. 
and we are going to start on the week of let's do this week so that is right here and then you go submit to update everything and here are all the workouts down below okay so and if you want to print it like this you can if you want to uh, save some ink and hide the header you can hide the header header if you want to hide the description you can hide the description so then you just have the title and if that's fine or you can also go up here to this tab which is detailed view let's let's bring the other ones back though bring back the header bring back the descriptions let's go and now click to detailed view okay so it's just a different way of seeing the workouts so that's Monday you're doing a swim Tuesday bike class strength and so on okay so that's how you can print it and here as well you can hide the descriptions you can hide the header and that's probably enough so you can choose what you want to print off or if you don't want to print it off the other nice thing you can do too is you can log in using your phone or your iPad and all you need to do is go to my website nolimitstriathlon.com and then you can log in and that will get you here okay and when you are done with the workout just uh, log back out right up here in the corner go log out and it brings you back to my website and you are done thanks for listening and good luck with the program if you have any problems with it one thing you can do is just email me or you can also go back to the help video let me show you where that is for a second so let's go back into my account <coughs> and see where are those help videos so you log in get the calendar view you go up here to help and then you can go either to the help page or the view help videos both of those are very helpful and you can even email the people at Training Peaks as well. And they've been very uh, help, helpful to me and they got back quite quick. Okay, so happy playing around with uh, the program. It does take a bit of while to get used to, but it's quite, um, quite fun once you get it. Okay, thank you. Good night.